Hello everyone, this is Leo from the One Can Make Him This Place channel. We will be doing another installment of the quick intro series. In today's uh, installment, we will be talking about the Dragon Empire Glitter deck, which is Tamayura. Tamayura is a grade 3 that was also introduced in set 5, as most of the uh, glitter decks were outside of Michu. Uh, the first Tamayura, as there is two forms, the first Tamayura said that at the beginning of your ride phase, you get your Vanguard gets, uh, all your front row gets plus 5k until end of turn which means you get half a Persona Ride in case you don't hit it. But if you did get a Persona Ride, that's a plus 15k. Uh, and then her second ability says when she attacks, you can counterblast one and perform one of the following. You can just choose one card from your soul and call it Tarir, or you can choose uh, a card with Rear Me and a card with Rara Me and call them both Tarir. Now you might be asking, what is Rara Me and Rear Me? Well, we'll get into that, but let's let's talk a little bit about this Tommy, about the original Tommy Uh Personally, I think it was an incredible deck. Maybe off the rip it wasn't as great, but it has received plenty of support over the course of its uh, short life. It's received three sets worth of support and a promo, I believe. Uh, technically two promos if you count uh, one of the cards, although it is not for her specifically. The second promo is very is very fun in this deck. But now let's talk about the Rarami and the Rurami. We have both of these are grade twos that are both part of the Dark States and Dragon Empire Nations. They both have a, a, a glitter ability for Tamayura which is when they're retired from Guardian Circle, you can put them into Soul. This ability will only work if your Vanguard is Tamagura, and then they have an ability dependent on if the, the opposite is uh, on board. So for Rarami, you need Rarami, and for Rarami, you need Rarami. Rarami lets you Soul Blast 2 to draw a card, and Rarami lets you Soul Blast 2 to choose one of your opponent's rearguards and put it into Soul. Very good effects, honestly. You're probably always going to be doing Rarami to draw cards, because, you know, you kind of want to. You want to be able to draw them cards. Uh, you, you, it is, at Soul Blast 2, it is a little expensive, so you'll use it uh, carefully. And in the first iteration of this deck, it wasn't. It was a little hard to keep the soul you needed. Um, but let's move on to some of the other cards that were introduced in the first wave of support for Tamira. She received two cards in her first printing. Uh, three cards, excuse me. Two more units and an order. Let's talk about the order first. The order that she that she received in set five was Flitting Shine that lights life. This was a grade two blitz order that said play this unit with play this card with Soul Blast two. If you have Vanguard with Tamira in its card name. Choose one of your vanguards and it gets all of your opponent's front row gets minus 10 until end of turn. You can get rid of an opponent's persona right, which can be so devastating if they're relying on it to hit numbers because now they have to commit boosters and things like that. This order has fallen off in popularity because so many decks can just get an insane amount of power, but it's still pretty good. And if you believe that you would want the defensive option there, it's not a bad card. Moving on to the two units printed in set five for Tamagura. We have uh, Sumugi, which is a grade 2 that says when it's placed on rear, you can Soul Blast 1, choose a normal unit with Stealth in its card name or Glitter from your drop, and you put it into your soul. Allowing you to swap a card that you don't need for uh, one of the dolls most, in most cases, allowing you to set up your grade 3. Pretty good. When uh, when set 5 came out and this was all we had, you did play quite a few copies. I think you believe, I believe you played about 2 or 3 in most lists. But Nowadays, you probably won't see this card, but again, it is a card that supports Glitter, so it has to be mentioned. Then we have uh, the last card in the original uh, Wave of Support in Fortale, which is a grade 1 that says when it's placed on rear, you look at top 7, choose up to one normal unit with Stealth in its card name or Glitter from among them, and put it into your soul. It's free, it's a booster, you get to just thin your deck, it's a very good card. Even to, even nowadays, you'll see uh, some lists play 2 or 3 when uh, Set 5 originally released, it was a full set, obviously. But out of this first wave, Tamayura was decent, but not but broken. Um, definitely some, some strong things, being able to get 5 attacks right away, and then if you Persona Road, you'd have plus 15k to the board, which means your Rarami and your Rarami would be 25k attackers, which is insane. But moving on from the first wave, let's talk about the promo that they received. The first promo they received is Broken Toys. Broken Toys is a grade 1 order that reads, play the Sleeping Vanguard with Tamayura, search your deck for, uh, look at top 7, of your deck, choose up to one card with Rarami in its card name and one card with Rarami in its card name from among the cards revealed or drop, put them into soul, and then if you have one of each in your soul, you draw a card. This card pretty much took the spot of Forktail because it was just an order, it could get you two cards, it could get you from drop or deck, it drew you cards, very important. <laughs> um, very, very, very strong card. I, I still believe most decks play about three or two copies at least. You'll see why the, they play so few numbers if you if you have played Tamayura already, you'll probably have a good idea. But let's move on to the set 8 support of uh, Tamayura. If you've noticed the pattern, 
both Integrea and Roloa, set eight didn't give them a new form, instead it gave a new form to their support units. So obviously, we got a grade one version of Rarumi and a grade one version of Rarumi. Both had the effect that when they were placed from uh, from Soul Intra Drop during your turn, you could counter blast one and call them to the same column as their opposite. So you'd call Rarumi to a Rarumi and you'd call Rarumi to a Rarumi. Then they had a unique effect if you were playing Glitter, obviously if you're playing Tamayura, Rarumi, at the end of the battle, it boosted, you put all the rear guards in the same column as this unit into your soul, which would allow you to empty your circles for when Tamayura pulled them back out. But if you put a card with Rarumi in its card name, uh, if you have not countercharged this turn, you can soul bless one to countercharge, allowing you to not have to waste so much CP or be able to keep some of your CP, which is pretty good. And then Rarumi, same thing, at the end of the battle, she boosted, you put all of your rear guards in the same column as it in the, into soul. So again, opening up your circles for uh, Tamayura to call out units again. But if you put a unit with Rarumi into Soul, you could give a unit plus 5k until end of turn. Usually this power would go on Van, or if you were to have another column with another Rarumi and Rarumi, it would go there, and then those would go into Soul. The, both of these effects were incredible, because the original drawback of Tamayuro was that you just have to leave your dolls there in the front row, and your opponent's most likely going to get rid of them, retire them in some way, try to empty those zone, or try to get rid of those cards, because then you'd have to waste resources to cycle them back up. But with the grade ones, that was no longer an issue. You would just call them behind the the grade twos. You'd be able to suck in the grade twos, and now there would be no worries. You know, if you've gotten rid of them from board, no worries there, right? Then we received uh, another order in Scarlet of Fluttering Evanescence Life, which is a grade two three order, normal order that says play this with Soul Blast two if you have Vanguard with Tommy in its card name. Choose up to one unit card with Rarity in its card name and up to one card with Rarity in its card name. From drop, call them to read. I personally aren't, am not a huge fan of this order, but it does give you a board for free, essentially, because you can Soul Blast the Great Twos, call the Great Twos, then you'd use the effect of Rarami to draw a card, Soul Blasting both of the Great Ones, then you'd CB2, call the Great Ones to the respective columns, and now you'd have a full board for two Soul and two CB. Which is quite a hefty cost, right? It, it is a lot, especially when your Tamayura requires you to use the CB for her attack to go into it, but you could refund one of the CB with the Grade 1 Rarami, so it would be more like 2 soul and a CB, right? But this order does get played because certain certain uh, players like having the ability to just have a one card board on hand, so you'll see this in some decks. Now let's go through quickly through some of the other support units that were printed in this set that aren't very uh, important but are still cards to mention. We have uh, Limbs, Limbs Fit, which is a grade 2 that when it's retired from rear or guardian circle, if you're Vanguard Glitter, you get to put it into soul. Copying the abilities of the, doll, of the grade 2 dolls. Pretty good. Just gets an extra extra soul if you really need it. Doesn't get extra shield. I wish it did. It would make it so much better, but it doesn't. Uh, then we have a grade 3 in Thunderclap Dragon. When it's placed on rear, if you have Vanguard with Glitter, you soul charge 1 and it gets plus 5k until end of turn. Again, uh, black luster ability, honestly. Why do you want to just randomly soul charge and get an 18k when you're optimally trying to attack with the dolls? But, again... A card with glitter in its effect so we gotta mention it. and then we got heat breath wyvern which is when it boosts the glitter unit it gets plus five on turn of that battle i don't know why they even bothered printing this card we literally have cards like this uh i think in almost every nation that is just an ak that gets plus five when it boosts uh or if you're if your vanguard is great three i think I'll, I'll, I'll put here like he's literally like copy and and you'll see why it doesn't make sense that this card was even printed but there was one more card in set eight that is Technically for Tamayura, you will probably not use it in Tamayura, but it is a card for Tamayura nonetheless, so I have to say it, and that is Unprecedent, which is a grade 3 normal unit. This is when it's placed on rear by a card's ability. If you have Vanguard with Tamayura or Shoujo Doji, uh, it is card and you can Soul Blast 1 to draw a card. And then if one or more cards uh, were, put into, uh, were put from rear into Soul this turn, it gets plus 10. This card works incredibly in Shoujo Doji, being able to draw cards, get that power, obviously. But for Tamayura, you don't really want to have to call anything that isn't the dolls to rear guard. So calling this isn't great because what are you calling? You have to call it by a card's ability, so you'd have to use Tamayura's effect to just call this. Um, and I don't believe the trade-off of an extra attack is worth the extra 10k and maybe a draw you get from this because Rarami can draw, the grade one or Rarami can draw, the grade one Rarami can give extra power, you can counter charge, you can just make the soul back just by using the, the original board. But again, we do we do try to go through every card that at least references Tamayura or Glitter in an archetype obviously that is specific i know we could we, i could technically talk about radolina which we did talk about in the last episode about roroa 
but obviously we both know that those cards don't really cross over, right? But we've now gone over all of the set 8 support for Tommy Room. Let's move on to the set 11. You'll probably know that set 11 is where all these Glitter decks get their new forms outside of Michu because she is a lyrical deck. But Tamayura received a new form named Will O Wisp Daybreak Tamayura that said when this is placed by writing from the original Tamayura, you can search your deck for up to one order card without Regalis piece, uh, add it to your hand, and then you activate Persona Ring. So this can get you Evanescence Life, uh, Fleeting Shine that lights life, or Broken Toys. So you don't have to run as many because this new Tamayura will just find it for you, right? Obviously, you also get to activate Persona Ring, which is incredible. Um, and then her second ability, very reminiscent of the old Tamayura, except this one doesn't cost a soul. That says, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you could bind a uh, Deepening Knight Tamayura to choose up to one card each with Rarami and Rarami. Uh, and they're counting from soul, call them to rear, and they get plus five. And then at the end of the turn, you ride back into the original Tamayura, which is an effect that almost all of the new glitter forms share. I believe only Thagrea doesn't do that because uh, Thagrea binds herself, and it's a whole thing. We, we talked about it there. But yes. Uh, one. One thing I will point out here is that this new Tamayura, although cool, no longer works with the Dragon Empire OT, so I believe players will probably start moving towards using either red or blue OT, because if you restand this, all you get is extra drives, unlike before. With the old Tamayura, if you got Dragon Empire OT, you could get another two attacks, uh, or excuse me, another three attacks off of it, instead of just the extra one that you would get with the new Tamayura. A very small, Right, very, very small complaint that you, you have to like play a different OT. I believe the crit one would do, uh, the blue OT would be fine. You could also do uh, red because you will have standing rear guards uh, while she's performing drive checks. So uh, you could use either or and test it out and see what you think. But this new time you're, is pretty cool being able to search you any orders. It's not even just the orders tied to her. You can search for any orders. Obviously, you can't search for regardless pieces. So you can't search for chalice or evergreen transfers or forbidal. But hey, you're still able to search for the orders that she plays, so that's pretty good. So let's just move on to some of the cards you'll see in Tamayura decks. Obviously, Room is very tight in this deck. Uh, if Roro is having a hard time fighting Room, Tamayura is struggling even harder. Uh, in, in most lists, you're looking at a set of the new Tamayura. You're looking at a set of both the grade 2s. You're looking at at least three of the grade 1s. You're looking at at least maybe two Broken Toys or two Evanescence Life or one, one, one of all of the orders. So you're looking at a decent chunk of cards already taking taking room in your deck. So there's not really a lot of choices for uh, Wiggle Room, but let's go over three cards that you'll probably see in some decks. The first one being Kolga Flan, which is just a cycler because it, it just helps you filter, right? You're digging for those dolls, you're trying to find the pieces, as well as being removal if need be. Um, I have seen some people play it. Personally, I don't think it's that great. You do want to keep your soul in this deck, but right, it is a card that we have to mention, and it is played in some decks. So, that's the mention. Then we have the great two that was printed in set 11 as well, I believe. Technically not for Tamayura, because this is a, a card that was part of the cycle, so everyone got a, cop a card similar to this, and not just Tamayura. That is uh, Drag Raider Latifah, which is when it's placed on rear, other than by card's ability. If you played a normal order this turn, you can Soul Blast 1, look at top 5, shoot up to one unit card with grade less and then equal to your Vanguard, call it, or put it into your hand if it's a normal order. Uh, she also has another fact, when she attacks a grade 3 greater unit, she gets a plus 5 in the battle for your opponents open rear in the same column as this unit. So she gets plus 10. Uh, not great, I'm gonna be honest with you, not a great card. Uh, but hey, people like it for the filtering choices, and I understand this deck plays a lot of orders, so you'll you'll probably be able to use her for that ability. The last card we're gonna talk about here is Suko, Suku Yodachi. Suku Yodachi? Ah, it's on screen. Uh, that says when this card is put from soul, is put into soul from deck or rear during your turn, you can bind it and soul charge one. Why would you want to bind this card, right? That seems like such a lackluster effect. Well, let's move on to the second effect. It says, while in bind zone, when one or more cards, or one or more of your rear guards were put into your soul at the same time during your turn, you can counter blast one, call this card to an open rear. But with that, this is all of the cards for Tamayura. If I've missed any, please let me know. Obviously, uh, I don't have a lot of time to do some of the research on these sometimes, especially since I'm, I'm pumping out so much content. I think at the time of recording this, we are at 98 subscribers, we're two away from 100, which is insane to us. We never thought that we'd get this far. We never thought, I mean, we, we wanted to, to, to do this because we thought, hey, we're already playing the game, we might as well do content about it. But the fact that almost 100 people at this point have subscribed to our channel is is incredible. And, you know, we I, I believe I made a post, I'll, I'll either make a post before or after recording this with some choices for maybe a 100 subscribers, subscriber special we might do. 
So if, uh, if you want to, go check it out. Go check that post out. We put up about four options. If there's anything else you'd like to do, we could definitely do that as well. So just put it on there and let us know. But with that, I'll leave you to it. Thank you all for watching.